Uh, my name is Sally Ahmed. I'm from Egypt. I did my undergrad in uh, the American University in Cairo. Then I went to Kaus, King Abdullah University for Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia to do my master's. I did it in uh, integration, in process integration. Then I started my PhD with Dr. Hussein Fariborzi, which is a device and system group. I became interested in MEMS and CMOS design when I joined KAUS. I started like to know more about clean room fabrication. Like this was uh, a vague field for me. So yeah, so I started to learn about CMOS design and MEMS design in the courses and also with my uh, master's group. I have designed MEMS uh, devices before. I have worked on thermal actuators on flexible silicon. We have made the integration uh, process for that. And I also fabricated humidity and temperature sensors on flexible silicon. But for the CMOS devices, I haven't actually, we haven't uh, tried that before. Okay, so I knew about the contest from my, prof my current professor, Dr. Hossein Fariborzi. He is familiar with that. Um, so my, my team is, is me and Dr. Ab Abdullah Hafiz, he is a postdoc in our group, and Dr. Hussein Fariborzi, he's my advisor. Um, and why we are interested? Because I wanted to get more into the integration of MEMS and CMOS devices together. I wanted to do a simulation before, like my simulations were only like a device level and then with other softwares. I wanted to do a system level with that. Okay, for the MAMS design contest, we are proposing a device that can be reconfigured to do a lot of operations. For example, like we can do many logic gates depending on the frequency that we choose. Uh, so that kind of device, like this is a new area that has not, have not been explored before. And it has a lot of future because it has low energy consumption. And uh, it has a future like also like in reversible computing, which saves a lot of energy. There is a lot of future in this area compared to CMOS, which is not reversible. The applications of our device can, can be in tunable filters, in fast computing, like in the future, after minimizing the, 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 the device dimensions, we can use it in very fast computing. So using Cadence or MEMS Plus in, my, in, in our design, I found it like because I, I didn't have a lot of experience before the fact that the process flow is already described and the components are, are combined with the process flow it means it makes my life much easier so that I have never experienced it before yeah actually I was expecting like two cases for I have a beam with two forces on on each side so for applying a one one or a zero zero case I thought they would be the same because they are opposing forces but with the simulation I found that it's not actually the case so that was really a surprising result for me. So what I have learned is actually, as, a, as I'm, I am a starter, I learned how to use MEMS Plus, how this, like the process part and then the components part. I think that this is, a, this is very useful. And I can say I already have like some experience with that. Yeah, so I think uh, it's a very useful tool. So the, the most important thing for me is to learn MEMS Plus and integrate, integrating it with, this, with CMOS and like learning how to do a system level uh, simulation. That's a very important thing for me. And for the group, I think we will have to add like some CMOS circuits with our MEMS device. So either me or someone else will have to do that. So the fact that we know how to do it now, it, it makes our life much easier. Being here, like I, I met a lot of people who I had I have a discussion with them about my project and also their work, and I had a lot of feedback and insight with some challenge that some challenges that that I faced, and they were able like to so, to help me with solving it. So yeah, it's quite um, helpful to be here. It's interesting.